Hello everybody. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about uh, uh, one uh, branch of maths known as uh, differentiation. Actually, differentiation is nothing but a branch of calculus and calculus is a branch of maths. Okay. Now, why do we talk about, why do we uh, discuss differentiation? You see, differentiation is a very important tool. All right, which is highly, which is, uh, uh, which is used very often in physics. Okay, so that is why we are going to study about this, but we are not going to go into the detail of the differentiation. All right, that will be done in maths paper. Uh, what we are going to do here is we will study only the very basic meaning of differentiation. Okay, so basically what is differentiation? So differentiation is nothing but the branch of calculus. Okay, it is a branch of calculus. It is a process of finding the derivative or the rate of change of a function. Okay, now what is a function? I believe you know what a function is. You have learned this in your maths paper. Function is something like this. If you write f and in brackets you write x, that means this is a function of x. Okay, so this is a function of x. You have an equation, let's say x squared plus 3x minus 2. So the only variable out here is x and 3 and 2 here are called constants. So depending on the value of x, you will have different values of fx. Similarly, you will have a, a function in y. Uh, let's say y squared plus, plus y plus 10. That is another uh, quadratic equation, which is uh, having only one variable y. Okay, so that is a function of y. So when we say the rate of change of a function, now what does that mean? Okay, now for example, the rate of change of velocity, I think you are very familiar with this um, term, right? Uh, with this uh, definition, with this, uh, when they say rate of change, okay, rate of change. That sentence is very, very uh, often used in physics. Now, rate of change of velocity, this is written as dvdt, okay, or ddt of v. That means, how do we say this? How do we pronounce it? This is differentiation of velocity with respect to time. Okay. And uh, we can also have uh, the rate of change of acceleration. Okay. The rate of change of acceleration is written as dA dt. Now, this term here, d dt, it is not that d divided by dt. Okay. It is, it is not like that. This is actually one term. You cannot cancel out d and d. You cannot cancel out d and d and say that this is 1 by t. It is not something like that. That's not algebra out here, okay? So, this d dt, that is actually one term, all right? And what does it mean? It means differentiation with respect to time, okay? You can also have d dx. d dx means differentiation with respect to x. And d uh, dy, d dy means differentiation with respect to y, so on and so forth. In um, differentiation, we have uh, some theorems, all right? We are not going to discuss all the theorems, so I'm discussing only the important ones. Now, this first theorem says that if c is a constant, okay, then d dx of c, that means differentiation of a constant, is always zero, all right? For example, let's say uh, differentiation of, uh, let's say, any number, for example, d dx of any number, let's say, let's say pi, okay, pi is a constant, so this will be zero. d dx, d dx of the number 10, that also will be zero. Why? Because 10 is a constant, okay. The second theorem, it says that if y is equal to c into u, where c here is a constant and u is a function of y, all right, then when you differentiate d dx of y, the constant will come in front. You, you don't differentiate a constant, okay? The constant will come in front and then you differentiate du dx, okay? For example, let's say you have uh, d dx of, uh, of, of 3x, right? d dx of 3x, what you can do is this 3 will come in front, then you have d dx of x, all right? And d dx of x is equal to 1, so this will basically equal to 3. The third uh, theorem says that if y is equal to sum of uh, three functions, all right, u, v, and w, where u, v, and w are functions of y, then d dx of y, that means d dx of this function, will be just a sum of the individual differentiations, 
of those functions. Okay, right. So, uh, and and the fourth one, it says that uh, the fourth one is the most important one. If y is, is equal to x to the power n, where n here is a real number, then dy dx is d dx of x to the power n. This n, this real number, it goes in front. Okay, it goes there in front. So, n will come here in front. Then x now, its power will reduce by 1. Okay, it will reduce by 1. For example, let's say I have uh, d dx of uh, x square. All right, d dx of x square will be 1. Now, let us apply this theorem. So, this power will come in front. So, you have 2. And then d dx, d dx. Okay, let me just apply the... Um, uh, formula only and let me rub this off so what will happen here what will happen to the uh, to x x now will be to the power how much uh, 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 yes or no so you have 2x okay number 3 let's say d dx of uh, x to the power uh, to, to, to the power let's say 100 Okay, this can happen also, isn't it? Not? So this uh, 100 will come in front. Okay, so 100 will come in front. So x will be to the power how much? 100 minus 1. So this will be 100 x to the power 99. Right? So let us uh, take some more examples. And that's number 2. Let's go to number 3. For example, let's say d dx of... Uh, uh, of of 5x cube okay 5x cube now what is happening here 5 here is a constant so what do you do you put the constant in front and you differentiate d dx of x to the power 3 okay now this one so you so you will get 5 then what is d dx of x to the power 3 let us uh, apply that uh, rule that fourth uh, theorem the 3 will come in front so 3 here will come in front x now the power of x now will reduce by one is not so instead of three the power of x now will become two okay now you can just uh, multiply five and three you get 15 x square okay so let us uh, go further let's say you have uh, ddx ddx of uh, let's say let's say uh, let's say four by x to the power four let's say okay now what we can do here, this uh, 4 is a constant, so I can take this 4 outside, then I have d dx of x to the power 4, alright? So here, what I can do here, I can take this x, first of all, so I have x to the power minus 4, got it? So 4, and then inside of the bracket, again, I apply the, uh, the theorem, the fourth theorem. So this minus 4, which is the power, will come in front, minus 4. And now the power of x will reduce by 1, right? So that means it will be minus 4, the original power, minus 1. Okay, so you have minus, minus, and 4 and 4, you get 16. Uh, x to the power how much? Minus 5. Okay, so you have minus 16 by x to the power 5, taking this x back to the denominator. Okay, so something like this. So let us do something which is which involves... Uh, um, um, a, a polynomial, let's say, d dx of, uh, of, let's say, let's not take d dx, let's take d dt, okay, differentiation with respect to time. So, let's say d d d t out here of, uh, of let's say, 2t cube uh, minus uh, 3t, 3t square uh, plus, uh, plus 10t minus 8. Okay, let's work this out. Now, according to the theorem, we have to differentiate each one of these one by one, isn't it? So, this will be differentiation with respect to time of 2t cube. Okay, minus uh, 3 here is a, is a constant. So, I take this constant out. Differentiation with respect to time of t square. Then plus 10 here. All right, I can do the same here. This 2, I can take it out. Okay, but I'm just putting it... In. So let me take it out here only, All right? Instead of taking another stem, so I can put this two outside. So similarly here, this ten I can take it out. So you have d dt of t, then minus minus d dt of 
8. Okay. And so you get 2. Then what will be the value of this? Differentiation of t to the power 3. So inside bracket, you will get 3. Uh, t, the power of t now will reduce by 1. So from, t, from 3, it will go to 2 minus 3 times. So again here, ddt of t square. Uh, what do you get in the bracket? You will get 2t to the power how much? 2 minus 1, which is 1. So you get 2t plus 10. And ddt of t here. Okay, this ddt of t, how much is this equal to? This is equal to 1. All right. So therefore, you will get uh, 10 into 1 minus d dt of 8. 8 is a constant. This will be 0. Okay, so basically, you will get here how much? Uh, 2, 3 is a 6. 6t six square minus uh, 6t uh, plus 10. All right, so that is d answer is that clear here so these things uh, you need to uh, learn okay and it's not very difficult also shall we uh, take uh, more examples uh, how about uh, let's say uh, what example was that we have done till number five let us go to number six how about uh, ddt ddt of uh, of uh, of what of uh, let's say okay let's say um let's say all right let's let's say t uh, square minus t okay t square minus t so obviously this will be ddt of uh, t square minus uh, ddt of t so how much are you getting this so obviously from here you will get only 2t minus and ddt of t is 1 all right, so those are the examples. Uh, yeah, okay, suppose it has um, something like this. Okay, d d t d d t of, let's say, uh, x square, x square plus, uh, plus uh, 4 by root x, okay, minus, uh, minus uh, 3 uh, by, uh, let, let's say, uh, mm, no, not not x. Let us take t. Okay, root t. All right. So let's say this is d d t of uh, t square. Uh, then root t minus three. Okay, let's do this. So take differentiate this one by one. So differentiate t square plus uh, differentiate uh, differentiate uh, d d t of uh, four by root t. Then minus ddt of 3. Obviously, this part will be 0 because 3 is constant. And here, how, how much you're getting here? This 2 will come in front and the power of t now will reduce by 1. So, it will be 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, plus this 4 will come out. Uh, ddt of uh, root t. So, root t is actually what? What is root t? All right, let us write this down. So, you have x uh, t to the power half. Is not because root is... Uh, to the, uh, is to the power half, right? So minus zero. So here you're getting 2t uh, plus uh, 4. And then what, what do we do here? We never put the uh, variable in the denominator, okay? We always have to take it up. So I have d dt of t to the power minus half, all right? So how much are we getting here? 2t plus uh, 4. And then this one, let us apply the theorem number 4. I will get minus half here. Then t to the power how much? This original power, which is minus half, will reduce by 1 now. It will become minus half minus 1. Understand? So can I write it here? Let me write it here, okay? Because I don't have space. So that will be equal to uh, 2t. This is the equal sign, not the implied sign. All right, 2t. Uh, then minus will come in front. And obviously, you can cancel 4 and 2. You get a 2 out here. Minus 2. Then t to the power, what is minus half minus 1? That will be minus 3 by 2. Minus 3 by 2. So you get 2t minus uh, 2 by t to the power 3 by 2. Okay, you can leave it here only, but uh, I prefer to always take the unit to be, the power to be positive. So I take this positive down. So that is the answer. All right, so this is the basic of uh, uh, differentiation. So we are going to apply this uh, when we uh, do this uh, third chapter, chapter 3. Okay, thank you.